Okay. And then fast forward to, as I like to call it, the year of the pivot. Okay, things were going really well. 2020 was projected to be my biggest growth year yet, by far. And I was already well into the six figures. And then March 20 hits with our friend COVID, and I lost almost 75% of my business overnight. Uh, that hurt that still hurts um, to think about how hard I had worked to get to 2020 and to see what was going to unfold for the year. The, the projections, the projects that were already booked, everything was looking great. Um, and then it, you know, it looked great until it didn't. So what was I going to do? And I, obviously I am one of millions and millions of people who felt this because I did a lot of travel um, pre-COVID. I'm a brand um, ambassador for many of my clients. They've um, had me travel internationally to Germany, to, to Spain, to France, um, many places in the US, as I say, I am Canadian um, to represent them. And travel stopped. All of that work stopped. I was working and planned to work on national advocacy projects. All of that stopped. And I had a lot, a lot, a lot of time on my hands. As did many others, right? Millions of other people. And I sat and I think I wallowed for a good day or two and went, oh no, what, what, is, what is this gonna do? Um, but I'm not a quitter. Uh, you know, I think that this is where you really see people grow. I had more time on my hands than I had ever had before. In fact, <laughs> pre-COVID, I was going a mile a minute, right? I love the hustle. I actually don't really know what to do with myself if I'm just sitting, right? Relax is not in my name. And um, it was, all right, all right. Uh, there's a complete shutdown. Do I reinvent? What do I do? You know, there's a blank piece of paper there because I literally didn't know what exactly I was going to do. So I sat and reflected a lot and it was time to get really, really clear. Who else can I serve? How else can I change? You know, how else can I show up? Who is out there that can benefit from the skills and the expert, um, experiences and the expertise that I have? Did I want to do things differently or was I gonna sit back and wait? How can I offer value and always come from a place of service? So when you sit and you ask those questions, as I say, you start to become clearer in your mind about, all right, no victim mode here, let's pivot. Let's change the way we think. Let's change the way we do business. Not fundamentally, but as we all know, just like we're doing today, I'm not standing in front of you um, in a room to give this talk. We're virtual, which is exactly what happened for so many others, right? So many people, including me, we asked ourselves these questions, right? What is the audience struggling with right now that I serve? And the pain point, how can I solve it? How can I, with my experience, my knowledge, my expertise, the years of experience, already looking at who I work with, how can I do more? And it all went back to strategy, right? As a PR marketing strategist, it was literally back to the drawing board. It was all about the strategy. New offerings. What were those new offerings going to look like? So now I do master classes and I do them virtually via Zoom to be able to help people grow their email lists and nurture relationships and generate warm leads to be able to get ready for when they're ready to launch new products, new service offerings. I teach them how to do that. I wasn't doing that before. I offer other value in the sense of lead magnets and video content ideas and video challenges to help people build their confidence on video. I use new platforms. I'm on TikTok, everyone. You know, I'll be 49 in a couple of weeks. Yeah, you're not too old for TikTok. In fact, when I started TikTok a year and a half ago, maybe just over a year and a half ago, it was a joke. I was doing that to basically annoy my teenage son. 
and I fell in love with the platform. And while I did take a little uh, break over the summer months, I'm back and I've been able to grow a beautiful community over there of 47,000 people. Now that number doesn't seem a lot in comparison to some creators, but to me, 47, let alone 47,000 people to follow me on a platform, to me, that's significant. You don't need to have a blue check mark beside your name to be considered an influencer. Every day that you choose to show up and share your knowledge with people, you have the opportunity to influence. I use Clubhouse. I've been on Clubhouse since February of 2021, and it's been nothing but a beautiful gift to be able to connect with people, to identify collaborations, a lot more collaborations, people that I never would have been able to have the ability to work with, let alone cross paths before COVID. So while COVID was the year of the pivot and, and it's still financially impacting my business, I can assure you that there have been silver linings and it's all in what you do and how you um, work through it right? That is, the, that is the strength. And one of my absolute favorite quotes of all time is feel the fear and do it anyway. So if it scares me, that means I have to do it. So many of the things that I do now, including talks like today, it's because I know that that fear inside of me, it feels a lot like excitement physically. If I am scared of something, I want to embrace it. I, that means that when I'm struggling, right? When I'm fearful, I'm actually growing. And so taking all of those experiences and moving forward. And I'll remind you all as I start to wrap up that, you know, if you think about it this way and you stop worrying about competition and you start focusing on creating value creating opportunities presents themselves naturally because you're no longer focused on what everyone else is doing. You're showing up to serve, you're showing up consistently, and you're creating value for people. And those people that have already chosen to follow your journey and watch along and engage with your content, particularly as a PR marketing strategist, you know, we watch this, we grow our communities, but we want to nurture those communities. And if you continuously do that, the opportunities present themselves and the rest will take care of itself.